Hello, hello. I welcome to Self Tarot. Um, we're doing the sign of Scorpio today. It's your LSD for me. Go sex and do it. Um, excuse my break in between days. I know I might have a little loud uh, heater in the background. So forgive me. I'll take that off soon. being at uh the 40s today i mean 48 but we're going to try to get it up there and i appreciate everybody who's been hanging with us this whole time i just want to show some love with that Good energy, um, completion of emotion, ten of pentacles, kind of happy family, happy home kind of cure. Then we come up with the advancement of emotion, so completion to advance in emotion, which comes to the energy of two ones in reverse, which is creativity, not trying to create anything bad in your mind. It looks like your love life is perfect right about now, but then we come to the nine of wands, that's attaining uh, stump thought in your mind or clouded decision. So you have that happy family up at home, everything's good. And then you're trying not to have a bad thought, but then ultimately underlining in the back of your head you have a bad thought about your partner. I wanna clarify that um two of ones are the best. That is way too much cards. It's high level energy. So trying to do that again. Alright, we got the king of chalices upright. So that's knowledge, rushing knowledge, keeps you in emotion. So it's like, don't even try and think about having a thought to have a bad emotion about this relationship, because it's just going to grow to something worse if you just do. Uh, justice in reverse. So there might be a lie in there that's keeping you from this full cups of emotion it's been a lot of growing so let's see oh uh, yeah true pentacles in reverse uh, decreased all the way so there's no creativity and emotion so it's like you felt hard for somebody and then you probably find something out or you thought you found something out and then the emotion of the thought kept growing and because of that you felt there was no truth between you and the other person and now it's like y'all ain't even trying to let the emotion go. Down. Five of Pentacles. So that's like you just wanted to change the emotion completely. So it's about to be a lie. It's probably breaking you guys up slowly but surely. And the energy is decreasing heavily. And then at the bottom of the energy, we have King of Swords. So that's knowledge of... Hmm, I stumped the question. So yeah, it seems like you were all good and gravy. Score up with your partner. But then 
you started noticing some things. And when you started noticing some things about your partner, that love kind of decreased. And then it gave you like a horrible thought process that's probably breaking y'all up apart, like currently. So, it's kind of interesting. Let's see how far that rabbit hole goes. Queen of Charles is in the reverse, so there's no patience in emotion. Yeah, 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 breaking up. I'm starting to break up. There's possibly a third party situation. Yeah, somebody was a hole in the situation. Um, somebody's eyes is wandering, starting a new path and emotion someplace else. So, yeah, you fell a hard for this person. You find out something was wrong with them as you started progressing with them. And then you found out that they possibly lied to you, had no patience, no creativity. Um, if they did, it was because it was with the third party, long term. High Priestess, uh, Upright, Major Akena. That's my whole card. It's like, she just keeps going on and on and on and on, right? And always leaves like a mystery behind having you confused about what the fuck happened so yeah it's possibly a third party situation i'm sorry to hear that about your partner all right let's see your sex life hold on a second i gotta write your title too all right now for your sex life Transitions, underlying energy, King of Chalices. This card loves your reading today. So, a new path and a clouded thought created an attainment of emotion. Um, hmm, which did not transcend into knowledge of emotion. Hmm. So. By you fucking with your partner, um, you're not even really trying to like attain like a full house with this person. It's probably like a floaty kind of dreamy type thing. If they bring you roses, it's rare. Um, Y'all yeah, probably known each other for a while, but I haven't really been like fucking with each other for a while. And if it is, has been like mostly physically. King of Charles is here underlying the energy. So it's like by them not fully acting the way they have been acting with you as of recently, it actually turned you on and gave you more knowledge of emotion flowing for this person. Just kinda of fucking weird. I don't know. <laughs> not weird but like different. I clarify that one. Okay. Two locked out. So five or so. So this new path, you don't really want to change anything about it. You like the person as mysterious as they are. Seven of Chalices in reverse. Seven of Chalices in reverse is confidence and emotions. You don't really want to have confidence with this person. With this emotion. Five of Chalices in reverse. You don't want to change your emotion. You don't want to have any kind of full emotion for this person. Chalice is here, heavy, so it's probably water sign. This person brings out and not have emotion for them in any way, shape, or form. Okay. And because of that, that's the creativity that brings emotion from y'all. You not giving a fuck about their emotions. Okay. Alright. And Queen of Wands are reverse clarifying the death. That means there's no patience to even think about something negative about this person. Is this person got like the free head goal right there? Okay, let's see this. What's going on here? Um, and because of that, hmm. okay. It's more eight of wands, eight of wands, reverse. Eight of wands is another 
advancement in a negative dot. So clarifying point one is patient. You just want this person around you. You don't care if it's physical or if it's mental, and you don't want to think about them in a negative way in any way, shape, or form. It's just this person is around you to uplift you in any kind of manner they seem worthy as of at that point in time. That's not really too sexual, but that's really what I'm hearing here. And because of that, it gives you the king of pentacles, which is knowledge that you do give a fuck about this person by not giving a fuck about this person. Physically, sexually, um, yeah. Mentally. That's the first time this reading has ever come out like that. <laughs> hey, Scorpio, you need to fuck. Alright. And now you do have to be with your partner, because that was not what I expected that to be. But it's okay, it's okay. Alright, then we'll do what we come out right. So now let's see. Ooh, I have a leave with your partner. I have an energy of finding out if you are long term. Whoa, that is a lot of cards. I am not going to read all of those because that looks like a whole embodiment of a story. That is not necessarily going to be yours today. <laughs> I love you. Definitely, definitely cares. Definitely cares. That come on. Seems there's a lack of mind when it comes to duality with your partner though. Let's get to that. It's a heavy flow of energy with that bad boy. Take one and a turn all the way over. Alright. Okay, we got one, we got justice upright. Can't try cannon. Okay, we got wands. I hate seeing wands, man. Alright. Even though I'm a fire sign. It's like, why I gotta be cloudy? Alright, alright, alright. Well, we're gonna take three, we're gonna take these four. Full upright. Two swords are revert, uh, upright. And then we have the ace of wands, get the card on the line, energy. So, justice upright. Now, justice is a measure I can has means it's gonna be truth in the situation long term. With a new path and a clouded thought. Might be a little bit life draining of why this truth is coming true. Somebody's gonna play the fool. It's a higher energy of believing the situation. Probably is gonna be a situation where truth won't come out. It might be a little bit of a white lie or a higher level of a lie. The person's gonna act or believe the situation. Two of swords in return. I mean, upright. That means that this is a full-on choice to be clouded in that thought. So the person's gonna act the fool and go along with what the fucking truth is, even though it might not be the truth. And that brings you to the ace of wands of just being fully stuck in a clouded choice of not knowing what the fuck is up. So you're fully accepting a lie to be with this person. Yeah, that's pretty much what that says. Alright. I love you, Scorpio. I'll see you soon. Take care.